Oh, oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, I need to get my comfrey pipe up and going. Uh, I've been up to uh, comfrey heaven where I know there's uh, a lot of comfrey grows uh, on a, an old site and uh, I'm just taking uh, off the uh, the actual leaves. So yeah, the comfrey pipe we just put the leaves in, the stalks can either be steeped uh, or they'll go in the compost bin. Once we've got the compost bin emptied and put here I want to try and get this done now while I've got a bit of room and uh, shortly I'll just show you uh, the comfrey pipe a bit more this time. It does take a bit of time to get everything sorted I'll try and take the stalks off if I can if I can be patient enough I'll just throw them on the right pile it gets a bit monotonous uh, after 10 or 15 minutes but uh, all this now will go into the pipe but I'm going to show you uh, the makeup how I've recycled everything I think this cost me about a couple of quid uh, at the time so the, for those that haven't seen this before uh, have a look at my playlist which will be on the end screen right at the end homemade liquid plant foods compost mixes and activators uh, it's on a pulley system, so I made that concrete weight using uh, a pattern off the pipe, cardboard, so it goes up and down, so it's not too tight. And then it just presses down on the comfrey leaves, and then when... Where's my finger? When that piece of black tape gets to the uh, top of the pipe, uh, sorry, uh, yes, top of the pipe, or the... I can't remember now, it's been such a long time ago, but I know wherever that piece of tape is, I know that I need to load it. And you can load, keep loading it as you go. And uh, we'll just set you down and we'll show you this. That's drills coming in useful. Why not take a little look at that? to change that one screw spun out or be a bit more careful so I think I cleaned this out properly before so this saucepan that just happened to fit this pipe perfectly uh, Mrs King hasn't, uh, hasn't actually uh, missed uh, this saucepan old garden sieve or house sieve Mrs King hasn't uh, missed that either. We'll just open that back up again. That's to stop the uh, solids from uh, blocking up uh, this pipe. And this is just an ordinary uh, push fit waste pipe, which we drilled onto that. Uh, that wasn't easy, but if you've got the right uh, equipment. So, so basically this just get flattened down with the weight uh, of the material and uh, then we just uh, pop it all back together hoping that all the uh, screws are in the right place self-tapping screws so once you've drilled this uh, and with the uh, drill through it just makes it a little bit, bit more solid links to the description for this uh, in, uh, uh, in the uh, below so basically we push the pipe in first and then push the pipe up drill the hole in that because that's quite tight just to let the uh, the air out and uh, I'll just set you back a little bit more and you can see me loading the pipe and then we'll have a look at the uh, comfrey cake what's comfrey cake he says now these leaves need to be as fresh as you can because you don't want to lose any uh, moisture because all we're getting is the juices that are in these leaves and as you know 
80% of all organic materials are water or black liquid gold. this all summer you may may get 10 litres but that 10 litres will make up as much as what these blue barrels hold but over the last few years I've got a little bit lazy or should we say we don't have so much time so what I do leave that on there over today now, people will uh, start to uh, think down. And as that travels up, I think it's, uh, it'll get to about there, uh, or anywhere along here, and then we can keep uh, keep topping this up. Right, let's go have a little look at the uh, comfrey cake before the uh, morning sun gets too high. So this is everything. And I mean everything that was left over the um, three months, four months over the summer. So that's what we ended up getting there, and that's that's about two years old. And the uh, previous year, I blended it. And uh, I was adding it to my potatoes, etc. So this, whether it's got any nutrients in or anything else, I'm not sure. But I might try a little experiment with the tomatoes this time. One tomato with and one tomato without. As he drops the lid into the water. I always blend, dry everything first. It stores better. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and that's a few years old, as you can see from the marker pen. And uh, that there can either be blended uh, or just crushed and added. But I do like to blend things, as you know, when I've got time. This is my original comfrey. And uh, what I do here is I let both lots, or three lots as it's spreading now, mature. I let the bees have it as long as I can because realistically we should be cutting it down before the flowers but we have to think of the uh, wildlife and then when it looks like that one's going to flower first as soon as this one flowers and the bees move over I'll cut that one down then that one will regrow and vice versa so the bees have always got something to uh, to visit so important on our growing spaces without the bees we would not have our fruit and vegetables. This is my new comfrey bed. This will probably be my only one. Eventually, we need to let this mature. I did take some roots out of this for um, a viewer. Uh, it is the uh, Bocking 14. As you can see, we actually uh, popped it in uh, in 2020. It's 2022 now. And I do want to let it mature because realistically these roots need to go down about four or five meters to pick up all the nutrients. I'm not saying the cemetery next door will give me any nutrients but if it's there the uh, the comfrey uh, will find it and uh, the size of these leaves you wouldn't want many <laughs> uh, to keep uh, filling the uh, comfrey pipe up with and you can add this to like it is now to your potatoes, tomatoes, compost bin. But well worth having some uh, comfrey, but to ensure it's a sterile variety, which Bocking 14 allegedly is. The uh, morning dew is on all of these uh, strawberries, 
and the green airs. Now remember, you don't have to have rain to collect your water. Condensation off the tunnel, off any space that condensation collects, uh, you will get a little drop of water. It might only be a bit, but that's how plants do it. The plants have the, <coughs> the leaves so that the moisture runs down, trickles down, uh, down to their uh, crowns or roots. Very clever plants are. A few days on from when I did this little experiment with Bibetta who's in the garden, the flower has now opened. I'll show this quite regularly because uh, Babette, I, uh, Babette I'm, I have issues here in this country with the strawberry flowers getting frosted. Now you see I've left a frosted one one, look at the difference, it's starting to grow or trying to, but the one on the other side, look, that's the one you're looking for. And Babette said she doesn't have any problems with frosted strawberries but they tend to cook because of the heat. But I just asked a silly question. Well, no question is silly in gardening. Uh, do they ripen quicker? She said, I don't know. So this is the experiment. This may explain it a little bit better. But we'll be keeping an eye on that. It's the one with the hook round. Yeah, we always talk about frost and uh, our uh, fruits, as you can see there in the middle of the screen. Uh, that one there is coming out well, but these here, they'll probably uh, all fall off. Uh, oh yes, look, yeah, they'll, they're just dropping off quite easily. So we've got a few pears, and this is the plum, as you can see, the uh, the brownness, but as we come up, uh, we're getting the uh, the odd, uh, odd plum uh, here and there. And uh, considering uh, the frost that we had, I'm lucky to get those. Again, uh, another another plum uh, pear, and you can see there, uh, those uh, will eventually uh, fall off. And we tend to thin our fruits anyway, so maybe the frosts uh, doing it uh, for us. This apple tree was doing so well, and still is. Lots of fruit uh, there. One or two not coming, and uh, more. Uh, more flowers to keep the bees happy. Please share your thoughts, your experiences in the uh, comments below. A thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction that helps uh, my uh, channel with the views, the comments, the thumbs up, thumbs down for the YouTube whiz kids to decide whether my video should be uh, up there for everyone to see. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. ta -ra for now. And a lovely train whizzing by about a mile and a half away. A lovely, quiet, peaceful morning at the allotments.